This is a typical forward pulse width modulated DC-DC converter, with voltage mode control. Type 3 error compensator, with C3A and R3A included, is used. In later analysis videos, if it becomes apparent, that just a Type 2 is sufficient, both components can then be removed. Type 3 amplifier, is known to provide 3 poles and 2 zeros, a Type 2 2 poles and 1 zero. The output filter is shown to include shunt damping, such that filter peaking in frequency, can be minimized at light load. Buffer or voltage follower, is also provided, to isolate the controller's zero pole setting from the output feedback divider, in case the feedback factor needs to be tweaked. Sawtooth clock, is shown externally. In actual implementation, it is generally an internal block of an integrated PWM chip. To be able to control the forward converter, we should model the power stage and find its transfer function. State space models, give a basic and powerful method, for the dynamic modeling of numerous systems, such as the power converter. The state space averaging technique, gives a complete converter model, with steady state and dynamic quantities. First, six variables are identified, output inductor current, damping capacitor voltage, output voltage, input current, primary voltage, and input damping capacitor voltage. Next, when the power switch is turned on, means D1 is on and D2 is off, and considering the transformer action, the power stage is in this on configuration. There are six first-order differential equations to be derived. We then establish equations, for the rest state variables. When the switch is turned off, the freewheeling diode D2, commences conduction. If an ideal case is assumed, the diode forward voltage, may be considered zero. With this assumption, a new set of equations can be written for this switch off configuration. This time, only two equations need to be modified, 
since transformer coupling no longer exists. Before this becomes too much, we will finish the state variable model in the next video.